What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm TL. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking it out. This is the 7 Tip Performance YouTube channel and vlog. Today I decided to go ahead and do something a little different. We've been reading all your comments. We saw you wanted more information about blasting and the media that we use and kind of seeing the process. So I figured, you know what? Might as well show you the process. A lot of you have asked in previous videos about where we get our media and what do we pay for our media. We pay around $7.50 to $8.50 a bag. It just depends on what exactly we get. Today we're going over to pick up the media. I'm going to kind of get some video there of us picking it up. We're actually getting it from a supplier that has it brought in by the train load. We're going to go ahead and hop in the dirty dub. Why is it dirty? Because of course I park right by where the sprinklers come on either in the evening or early in the morning and the sprinklers go ahead and mess them up. And, and, and of course, birds like to mess up the dub. We're gonna go ahead and get this started. So the place that we're going is UniWest. It's United Western. Okay, so I was off by just a little bit. After tax, it was 87.19 for 10 bags of 4070 nickel slag. And that is green diamond 4070 nickel slag. Just so you can see, here's the invoice. I don't want to show any credit card information. We'll call invoice 87.19. 
It's $8.50 a bag, so it comes out to $80.50. I was right, but here's the subtotal with sales tax. After tax, it is a little bit more than $8.50 a bag, more like $8.71 a bag, but still not bad at all. Now, something I wanted to bring up, and I'm gonna show you guys back here and where we pick it up and everything, because this is just the front part. But I want you guys to know that there are some big changes that are coming to the channel. They're gonna be scary changes, but they're gonna be good. All I have to say is we are looking, we've been looking for a few weeks for an upgrade on our air compressor, and we finally found a few that are suitable, that are in our price range, because we want to be able to blast items faster now that we have a bigger oven. The only thing that is holding us up is an air compressor we've got a big one but it's not the it, it's just it's an old school one so it's not as efficient as the newer ones anyway we keep running into a problem every air compressor that's perfect for what we need and that's in our budget is actually drawing too many amps for what we've actually got in the building so in other words we can't run an upgraded compressor because the power in the building is not enough. That means there's some big changes coming. A new building? Hmm. That sounded like it's not out of the question, but the new building might be in a different state because I'm buying a house. We've already been renting, now we're in the process of buying it, and it's not in Colorado. So there's gonna be some big changes. Make sure you smash the subscribe button if you haven't already and like this video if you're ready to see those changes. Let us know down below what you think that we might be doing. We're not gonna stop powder coating. We're not gonna stop Cerakote. We're probably gonna take on painting. There's definitely gonna be some more car build stuff going on and I'm excited. So let's go ahead and check out Unowest. We are here. This is the back area. So we basically, we drove around that corner right over there and they are already here to go ahead and upload. So I don't want this guy just sitting here forever but they bring it right out to you on a pallet here. Ten bags is about all we can take, 500 pounds in the dub the way it is so if you look over here by the red boxes over there i can't zoom because we're on the gopro but train cars come in there and they get unloaded and then this big machine here actually loads up trucks and that one over there loads up bags so you can see what they do is they come with a forklift and they put big 500 pound bags two ton bags in the top and then it breaks it down as you can see they're filling that semi up right there that semi was in front of us when we were pulling in. So they're pretty quick about it as well. So that's it. We come here. We get our media. It is green diamond 4070 nickel slag. So that's it. This is where we come to get our media. Again, we use green diamond 4070 or 7040 nickel slag. We do sometimes use the 5030 because we have some stuff that is tough to get off sometimes. And our blaster with 5030, it helps, but it doesn't eat away too much of the metal too quick, especially since we don't turn it up so high. The dustless blasting company that's on our property, if you put 5030 in that, it would just be disintegrating stuff. We're able to get away with it. Now they usually use 5100 nickel slag, green diamond. UniWest is like really the cheapest place, especially in the Denver metro area to be able to buy it because they really deal with it in the truck load and as you see in the pallet load and stuff like that. So like 10 bags like we get is just a drop in the bucket to some semis and different stuff like that where they're loading up full pallets. We're gonna head back, I'll get some B-roll of that. One thing I did want to, want to mention is the 185 CFM dustless blaster that our uh, associates have on the property. They get the same kind of finish when blasting with 5100 on wheels as we do with the smaller blaster using 4070 on wheels. Because the blaster doesn't blast as hard, we can use a little bit more aggressive media and still get the finish. If we were blasting with just the 5100, it would be really tough for our small blaster. Got all the media unloaded. We still have a bag 
of the 3050 that we got earlier. These are the wheels that we're going to go ahead and do today. We've got wheels and lugs, but we're gonna go ahead and do these a new color. Um, it's a new red color and I can't remember the name of it right now, but first these are gonna have to be stripped. We also have the lugs that we're doing as well for the customer. Let's go ahead and get moving on and start getting these wheels stripped. That way we can go ahead and move forward. We are just about out of rim strip. We, we have enough to maybe dip half the wheel and then turn around and flip it and do the other half. We do have 55 gallons that's on its way. It should be here in the next day or so. And shout out to Matt from Rim Strip hooking us up. And if you need to, we'll leave his number down in the description below. That way you can go ahead and contact him if you need to get some rim strip that way you can get started let's hop to it so we have these wheels that we're doing i stuck the first one here in the rim strip as you can see we have enough to cover just over half of the wheel we do have some more on the way matt is going to be messaging me here in a minute and letting me know when it'll be here but it should be here between i'm thinking wednesday and friday we'll know that for sure here in just a bit but we should hopefully have enough to be able to last us it is kind of a pain where you have to do half and then flip it and do the other half. But here's what's up. This is the first time that we ordered 30 gallons. We didn't exactly know how long it would last. And the heat kind of made it evaporate a bit faster than what we had experienced before when the weather was cooler. So now that we know, instead of buying 30 gallons, we bought 55 gallons. And we know that about um, two months into it, we're going to need to go ahead and order some more and get it on the way. That way we don't have a lapse like this. It'll last us two to three months. That's that's what we've got going on. I'm gonna show these to you after they strip and as they strip. So I'm going to get the loop. So I don't think I ever actually introduced you guys to our blaster pot. Blaster pot. This is the YouTube subscribers and viewers. Viewers, this is our blaster pot. Anyways, it is a Harbor Freight 110 pound blaster pot. When we fill it, we fill it with two bags of media. There are 50 pounds per bag, so it puts 100 pounds of media in it. And it really kind of just depends on the setting on how long that media lasts. It's already lasted. Uh, about an hour and a half already for me blasting one and a half wheels or so there you go that's our blaster pot just wanted to let you know we're about to finish these wheels up we're getting the um, bumper ready and we're going to get it brought out for when uh, aldo gets here for the big blaster and they can start blasting that
Okay, so we have outgassed the wheels or we are outgassing it. You can see there is nine minutes, 40 seconds left. So we put the wheels in for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. With our oven, with these size wheels, it takes about 12 to 15 minutes for them to get to temperature. And we go ahead and turn it down to about 375 and it goes ahead and stays there until it's done for about 30 minutes or so. We already blew it off. I didn't get any video of getting them all blown off as Jeremy was doing that while I was finishing blasting the last one. Essentially what we do is once we've blasted, we use the pressure from the pressure pot, we let it build up and then we don't let sand come out, we just turn the air on. Use that to blow down the wheels with some really powerful air, allowing you know a good amount of CFM, 20, 30, 40 CFM, and a good amount of air to blow it off high powered. Our compressor's not as high powered coming out of the little nozzle, so that's a bit more high powered. He then blew them off one more time after he hung them up, and then we will blow them off again after they cool on down. We'll blow them off one more time before we go ahead and start to powder coat them. Powder coating these wheels are gonna be in a separate video. Anyways, so there's our process of going and getting our media, buying our media, blasting, cleaning our project before we get started with it. I hope that this gave you guys a lot of information. Again, we use the 4070 Green Diamond Media. It's the Green Diamond Nickel Slag. It is good for the environment, so we don't have to worry about anything like that. It's cool, okay to have outside, even if your landlord gets a little frustrated. <laughs> but that's it. If you like this video, you want more powder coating videos and other such like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video or found any value in it, give it a thumbs up and let the YouTube algorithm know that you like this video and that we put out good content. Thank you very much for all of you for your support. Hope you enjoyed this. Let's get on to this next video.